advised. Hey everyone, this video is brought to you by Audible. Audible is offering you a free audiobook with a 30-day free trial membership. All you need to do is go to audibletrial.com forward slash BG Unlocked. The link is in the description below, and now enjoy the video. Hey everyone, welcome to the discussion for Pandemic and all of its expansions. State of Emergency, In the Lab, and On the Brink. This is the second time that we have tried Pandemic with all of its... It, it's a... <coughs> it broke me. Uh, pandemic with all of its expansions. Um, but, newer system, uh, now I, I believe... I think this was still around the time when I did my videos. It was all one big video, so I did the the run through mm. and the discussion in the same video, and I put cards to it, which was it's awful. It was I don't know what I was thinking. Like three hour long. I think well yeah well one because some of the games would be longer, and then it would just be even that much longer to get to the discussion. To the, and then because I think my initial thought was like oh well if they want to hear what I think they'll watch the game. No one gives a shit. <laughs> Like, like, I'll just watch another review. Uh, this is not a, over the 10th anniversary um, thing, but this is really nice. It's, I wouldn't say it's worth $100, but it's nice. So, Josh, uh, what do you think of Pandemic? Uh, it's brutal with all the expansions. <laughs> yeah. Um, I actually really like this game. I like it a lot. Um, I like Plague, Inc., I like the, the whole strategic placement of pieces and having to have crunch time on figuring out how to do this. Obviously, we, we lost. We <laughs> lost pretty hard. Yeah, we, we lost pretty bad. <laughs> but it was incredibly fun. Uh, yeah, it, I mean, it would have just been, it would have been a bad time because, uh, yeah, so Pandemic is, is like a staple gateway co-op game. Oh, Everyone, yeah. Everyone... Um, a lot of people don't like it. Uh, most people do. Um, I think it's one of the, um, like... I could see people that don't play more complex board games play this and yeah. probably think, okay, we can do other We can ones. do this, yeah. This is uh, actually a, a YouTuber that I watch a lot, Rado. This was his first game, and it got him into the hobby, and then went off. And this, I believe this is still his... It's either his second favorite game of all time... Or it's his first. Gloomhaven might be his first uh, now. Um, but I completely agree. I think Pandemic is fantastic. I think it's a solid co-op. Um, everyone gets special abilities that make them, for the most part, make them feel useful. Um, with all the expansions, they just become more and more. <laughs> uh, no, the Dispatcher is one of the best. Uh, it's just, with all the expansions, you everyone feels useless. Because you, you can't do enough. Uh, but I mean, it's it's the it's the staple cooperative game. Um, it's it's difficult, and uh, one of the things I really love about Pandemic is that, well, without all the expansions, is that ebb and flow of stress. Like mm -hmm. you have, like you you can do some managing and get rid of a lot of cubes, and you're like okay, we're doing good. Then the epidemic happens, and then it's like oh crap, okay, now we have to focus. All this stuff's happening again, and then it can it can kind of lull itself out, and then it just kind of goes in that roller coaster way, which. Uh, I, I very much enjoy. I like the fact that you kind of know, you're not just going through that entire deck of cards. Yeah. Like, you know that, okay, what's been drawn? Baghdad's been drawn? Great. We don't have to worry about that right now. But, oh, Jakarta hasn't been drawn yet. We need to deal with that and hopefully clean it out a little bit before before it does get drawn. Babe, what do you think? What do you think of, of, of Pandemic? They can watch the... <laughs> <laughs> Watch um, the damn game. <laughs> they can uh, watch the I game. mean, as far as just normal pandemic goes, I like it. Um, I don't like it with all the expansions because it is just a lot, and it is a lot. I don't. I don't necessarily always ever. Like, I should say like it when turns like that could be five minutes or turns into like thirty minutes. Because then somebody's always sitting there like, when's it gonna be my turn? Like that's fair. But um. I like it in cooperative games more than strategy. Well, definitely, yeah, definitely. Um, at least in cooperative, if you have two cents to put in, you can put it in. Mm -hmm. um, like, when you sit here and be like, this is, only, this is the best idea I have, and then it's like, well, what if we did this? Oh. No. <laughs> it's well. still not going to work, because we're playing Pandemic. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, good idea. Still doesn't work. Um, I think the hinterlands are kind of annoying. 
But yeah, well, we'll we'll talk about the expansions. We'll we'll go by all. Oh, the, separately. Yeah, we'll we'll do the we'll do the just base pandemic right now. You like it? Um, yeah, and Cat and I, Cat and I have played every single version of Pandemic except the dice game. We have done. They have a Pandemic Reign of Cthulhu, which is basically Pandemic, but it's Cthulhu themed. That's pretty neat. They have um, Pandemic Iberia, which is in the Iberian Peninsula in the 16th century. Uh, that one's really cool because you actually don't cure diseases, you discover them. So you uh, you can never eradicate them, but you can manage them a little bit better because you know what they are. And they do a little bit different stuff with that. Uh, you Obviously, since it's the 16th century, you don't have, you can't fly cross country. You have to take ships or you, an action is to build railroads. And then you can move, like, if I have a railroad here, 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 and here, then one move, I can go along that whole thing. That's nice. Yeah, so Iberia is really cool. They have uh, the Rising, Rising Tide, Tides which sucked. It. That Not one was good. garbage. They did, instead of uh, diseases, it was water. And you had to deal with water and water. It was dumb. It was, like, it was, it was literally a stretch. It was just what it sounded like. It was just like a flood, like what we're dealing with right now. Yeah. <laughs> and then uh, the latest one is Fall of Rome, which is actually really, really good. Uh, definitely, they kind of have. They still have that pandemic feel of you draw cards, and that's where the troops are going. And but it's really neat. They did a they did a different. And the latest one that will be coming out is Pandemic uh, Rapid Response, which is a real time pandemic game. Ooh. Yeah. So I I'm very much excited for that. I think that might be a neat twist. Might I think out of everything, Pandemic is probably the one that could use real time. Yeah, I think that would be neat. Um, they have another game. You remember Fuse? That we play. Yes. They have another one made by the same, I believe the same company about like emergency response and stuff like okay. that. They did something else with real time. I think pandemic uh, real time would be neat. It and, would be so stressful. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. It would be uh, in, it'd be insane. And then obviously they have the legacy seat. The legacy games one and two I think are are fantastic, even though they are very stressful to actually play. Um, so regular the pandemic's been around. For a while, and it, they keep doing more and more stuff, uh, and I always have a blast playing it because it's never too easy. Now, with that being said, let's go by the uh, stuff that we added, uh, or yeah, that we added to do this, and then we'll talk about everything as a whole. Uh, hinterlands, you guys already mentioned. What do you think of the hinterlands? Eh. It's a little rough. Yeah. It's a little annoying. It's because like you're looking, and this is part of you know the whole keeping an eye on things and the outbreak stuff, but, like, I don't. I forget about them, and then I'm yeah. like, oh, well, fuck me. Mm -hmm. Like, they're all outbreaking now. So like, it takes one of those things in a game that, like, it, it's still random with your discard pile going back on top, but you know what those cards are, so you can still manage. It, they added true luck of just a die roll. Yes. And it's like, okay, well, I can't control that. There's nothing I can do. I and can't... It's already even harder because you draw an epidemic, you draw the bottom card, this moves up. So essentially you're getting to the point where even though we were here, that is almost a third card. Yeah. Essentially. Oh, that's a good point. And then... It could actually even be worse because now you're being drawn away from other cities like to go important. into the hinterlands yeah. to deal with the disease there. Thematically, I like it. Very, makes a lot of sense. Yeah, it does. It makes a lot of sense. It really does. But because who's going to think of, like, whatever this island is right outside of, like, Ho Chi Minh Right, and that's where all the diseases are, yeah. taught, like, spreading to, and then from those diseases, then they hit other ones. And, yeah, thematically, they're awesome. I like that we've played with the Hinterlands. This was, a, like, a long time ago where we just, where we just did the Hinterlands. And I like the Hinterlands by themselves. Like, nothing else. You have base pandemic, and then you have the hinterlands. Um, when you throw in, like, the super bug. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah. it, uh, but yeah, it's it adds that extra challenge um, where, oh, yeah, I need to go into them and deal with them. And, of course, if you have certain characters, there's a, 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 a veterinarian that can actually go in and deal with hinterlands a little bit easier than others. But, yeah, um, not one of my favorites, that, that they added, but thematically, I, I really like it. Um, what else did I add from emergency events? No. You don't like them? Oh my god. I like emergency events. They, they add theme, they're very, like, 
super nice. This is brutal, but it, it is nice. Yeah. It adds depth to the game. And it's because it makes sense. Like, the CDC, like, you're you're grounded. Like, you're so yeah. infected that you can't go anywhere. Yeah, like, or we are not going to risk you flying into these other cities yeah. because we... It's we spreading this disease, possibly. We, yeah, we can't, we can't, we don't know where it's coming from. Um, because in... With the with the expansions, the the rule was you had five events in the from the base game, and then it was two per player. So since we had five players, it was uh, ten events. You will only ever add the amount of emergency events equal to the number of epidemics that you're doing. So we did four epidemics, so we had four emergency events. So your your ratio they, they suck, but you're not like getting bombarded with them. Right. Yeah. Like oh wow, another emergency event. Like so, I really like them. They kind of keep you on your toes. Uh, it's just like, bam, you can't direct flight. It's like, okay, great, now how are we going to be able to save the Middle East without being able to fly to the Middle East? To go boat style. Have to go the boat. So I very much like the emergency events because they're, they're, they're not as brutal. They're just kind of, they, they're hard. So, so there's those. Uh, let's see. The biggest one, well, not the biggest one, the Super Bug. I think it's neat. You like it? I do. That's uh, that's surprising. I actually didn't think you, uh, either of you would like the super bug. I didn't say I liked it. I said well, <laughs> either either of you. Uh, so you don't like. Let's the not count me out. You don't like the super bug. Uh, I like the thought that there's a there's a hidden like a, essentially a hidden strain to this disease. Yeah. That's even stronger. Right, and you can only get rid of it by eradicating it. Yeah. Uh, once again, really neat. I think. Emergency events, I would put, I would almost put the game with with uh, with everything. I like emergency events. Superbug, I would only ever do it as a challenge in and of itself. I was gonna say, yeah. yeah. It is. It's. I would say, if we didn't have the superbug, I honestly think it would have been a lot easier, because. No, if we didn't have yeah, the superbug, we wouldn't have outbroken on that blue, right? Yeah, we wouldn't have outbroken on a lot of places. Yeah. Um, whenever you have the superbug and the lab. It's it's disgusting because you're you're you have to play that much quicker because it's like uh, and probably our mistake initially was we did not sequence these out to find the superbug uh, sequence and get this one already cured. We just played them as they came. They we really did, and that's probably a mistake on our end because um, I was thinking, well, if we can get rid of these and we can deal with that and then go do the superbug, probably should have been the opposite because. What do you think the superbug was? Measles. No, measles already exists. Yeah, but it's. It is 2019. Yeah, it's a good point. It, it it's the fucking, yeah. Might it's be polio, smallpox, syphilis. The plague. Oh, the plague. plague. No, Death. <laughs> yeah. Uh, did we ever tell you? So in Death Pandemic and Legacy, you can um you can name you, can name, you name your diseases. Uh, oh. We had our red disease named as Rebola. Um, Yellow was the jumping Frenchman of Maine, which was like apparently a real disease from like lumberjacks. That's amazing. Uh, what was the black? Or the or black, the black one. I think. I think that was the plague. plague. Yeah, and then yeah. the blue one was Blue Garrick's disease. <laughs> we love it. That was the best one. We tried so hard to top that, but we just we blue couldn't. Garrick's disease. <laughs> uh, <laughs> anyway, I just wanted to bring that up. But yeah, so with the super bug, uh, it is really neat. You actually have to build. Uh, vaccine vac vacuums after finding the cure, then each one at the end of every player's turn will create these vaccines. So then you have to go there, pick them up, and then you have to go to spots. But it's really nice because one vaccine gets rid of all cubes. So if I had gone into Baghdad and I, as the medic, I can still do it just walking through, but I have to have vaccines for it. Just throwing vaccines at people. Just to fucking take it. Here's a needle and here's a needle. <laughs> And, oh crap, uh, you didn't even have the disease. <laughs> but yeah, it's, it, 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 and if you really think about it, like, really thematically, like, outbreaks, and these are hit, like, because it's in a small scale, you see these cubes on, on a tiny dot, but if you, if you're really thinking about it, like. I like that it has the population. The population, yeah, I was about to say, so it's like Baghdad, for example, has a population of 6.2 million people, and it's like. If that's outbreaking, that's most likely mean that those places are just getting, yeah, like eradicated. Tokyo, thirteen million, yeah, thirteen point one million across six 
thousand thirty kilometers. Yeah, so if you really want to get into the theme, it can get really dark. Like, Rado, during his Pandemic Legacy, there are things, I'm not going to spoil it, but he made decisions that basically they had to just blockade at these people and be like, sorry, we can, with like, <laughs> there's 30 million of you that are going to die because it's either you 30 million or 7 billion. Yeah, and he was actually like, I mean, he, I mean, he, I mean, I think he takes it a little bit too far, but, uh, like, you can get, like, it can get pretty dark if you really want to get into the theme of it. But with the super bug, sorry, uh, I think that, I would only ever do that by itself. Yeah. Like, because trying to get the sequences out to cure it, focusing on that one, then you, you will, in, like, inevitably forget about the other ones. So it didn't help that, okay, well, we finally started doing this. Oh, crap. Then we had the hinterlands to deal with. Um, and then we had uh, just other, other, other cubes. And then the, the Verlin strain, which we'll talk about. It was just, it's too much. I, I think we would have done a lot better had the superbug not been a deal. Because um, then we would have just been like, oh, we don't need this. We'll make this one yellow. Um, or whatever we want it to be. So, so we got through black and red. We did get black and red. But even then, like, you just have to cure these. Like, we'll talk about the lab in a sec. But you just have to cure these with just five cards. Which is already difficult enough just of how the deck comes, how the cards come out of the deck. So it's like... Oh, you have all the you have more yellow than everyone. You're gonna be yellow person now. You're gonna deal with yellow, so we will funnel yellow to you. And it's like, oh crap, you're not getting any. Well, I'm getting yellow. Okay, well, change a plan. I'm gonna do it. Then you have to. Uh, so then you you cure them. Great, we cured these. Then you have to eradicate purple. Like you have to actually then walk around, get these cute or get these vaccines, go to the spots and eradicate it to win. So not only would we have had to cure these, we would have had to cure this through the lab, go through all the places, get the vaccines, and then eradicate it. It's just too much. But that being said, it by itself adds a new element of challenge, which I, I personally really like. Do you not like it at all? No, the lab, no. No, 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 I meant the, the super bug. No. No, I like the super You do bug. like the super bug? Yeah, I'll take the super bug over the lab. Okay, okay, well. Uh, I just think the lab was annoying. So okay. that was that so all the super bug, the uh, emergency events, and the hinterlands all come from state of emergency. You have to. So, okay. state of emergency. Thumbs up. Yeah, that one came with a lot of uh, like really good expansions. What would you give that on a scale of 1 to 10? State of emergency. The, just the expansion itself. Just the expansion by itself? I'd yeah. give it an 8. An 8. Yeah, I would too. Uh, I think the Hinderlands kind of brings it down, which is the biggest thing, but Superbug and Emergency of Friends are really good. On the brink, on the brink, we put in the Virulent Strain. What do you guys think of the Virulent Strain? Which one was that? That's the different epidemics that w once you play your first one, it's whichever cubes have are the most on the board, that this effect will... It basically makes the... the uh, oh, like it gets one stronger. disease is is stronger. They yeah, have. Oh, they also have that in Iberian Peninsula or the Pandemic Iberia. That's a challenge you can add. Mm -hmm. um, and those are all named in the game. Um, I I like them and I don't like them at the same time. They <laughs> add so much stress. They do. They they really do. Because epi epidemics are already difficult by themselves. Um. Yeah, the chain reaction. That was the whole. We got a really bad combo too, because not only did outbreaks cause it to move twice, then chain react, then outbreaks added two cubes to each place, and then if they already had one, they, they added three. three and caused another outbreak, uh, which actually probably would have done slippery slope, which would have caused it to move another two. Yeah. Uh, we would have lost from that. Yeah. It, it's disgusting. They are very difficult. I think this is another thing that you only play by by itself. Yeah. The virulent strain. Um, and if you do, then I I like the the epidemics because after a while, if you're especially if you're only playing base pandemic, then it can get um, 
kind of boring. Um, I was at that point, so if you just, it literally, it's a super simple change. Hey, okay, it's these Epidemic cards instead. And they just change that, and it makes it a radically different game. Because you're yeah, going to get oh, a yeah. different combination of Epidemics. What do you think, babe? Virulent Strain, these, these, these ones that change the, like, basically what changed the black cubes. Yeah, um, I was just going to say it does, it makes the game harder. Do you like them? I mean, no, because it makes the game harder, but, <laughs> yeah, they're alright, um, I mean, it makes sense that, you know, there's diseases out there that, that can adapt. Yeah. Adapt, improvise. That's all Resident Evil is. That is true. Mutates into the D virus and makes all the zombies masturbate. Mm-hmm. Big old penises is what they get. <laughs> is that really a real disease? Uh, and then they have a mutation challenge that's, uh, it's, it's essentially... Uh, kind of the super bug, but it's it, they play it a little bit different. Like, um, yeah, it's either you must either cure all five diseases or cure the four other diseases and have no purple cubes on the board. Um, just it just has a different set of mutation cards, and then there's mutation events that go into it. Uh, we did not play with that one, um, but and then the bioterrorist challenge, which is literal trash. So on the brink. Uh, by itself. What do you guys think? I'd probably give it... I'd say a 6. I'd probably give it a 6, too. Um, I like the virulent strains, but I think a seven's too high, and literally half of the half of that expansion is a waste of time. It is bad! It gives more... I mean, it, they give more roll, and we're not rating it on the rolls and stuff, because there's a lot. But it does, yeah. come with, it does give you the Petri dishes. That's cute. That which cute. is really neat. Okay, yeah. it's a 7. <laughs> Uh, no, solid 10. But based off of the, we're rating these off of their uh, modules that come in. Alright, and the last one, in the lab. The biggest one that uh, came with this is obviously the lab. What do you guys think of the lab? Mm -hmm. it's, a, it's a nice, neat little flavor added to the game. Mm -hmm. it's, uh, it's a bit rough. <laughs> it's a tad it's the most rough. complex expansion. You don't like the lab? No. No. How come? I would just rather play just Pandemic the regular way, the regular curing way. Like, we've already got so much going on with Pandemic itself. Like, a, a, just a base game of Pandemic can be hard enough. Yeah. That, like, it's, it's more fun to forget that we're just scientists trying to find a cure and that some crony is in the lab really Yeah, good we're the us. field people, and it's like, hey, nerd, why don't yeah. you figure it out? Well, you're in here playing with your little beakers. I'm out here saving lives. Yeah. And they're like, no. <laughs> yeah, uh, I, I could definitely see where you're coming from. Uh, my argument for the lab is, once again, it's the oh, it's a thing you only play with. Like, you, yeah. do, you do not add anything else to it but the lab. Because it's it's essentially a mini game. Yeah. Like, it's a game of itself, not only because then you have to be like, you, you're not just going to a spot and getting rid of cubes. You have to be particular about the cubes that you're treating. So it's like, okay, if we put those here, then we can then move them over there and then double them and then we can cure it. <laughs> it's just kind of a long way around curing that kind of lengthens the game a little bit. Uh, you know how I feel about lengthening things. <laughs> yeah, um, I, I do really like it because it's it's very thematic for the purposes. Like, you actually have to figure out the strain of the disease and, 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 and kind of come up with a sequence and a cure and then you test it. And I think that's neat. I almost think that this could have been a game in and of itself. Like, oh, yeah. you could definitely add more to it and just make this your your game. Because um, there's, there's other games that are out there where you go like, okay, it's pandemic and then, oh wait, uh, Here's the lab part, and then, but you know, the people are in pandemic are already doing stuff, so now you're just doing the lab. That would have been pretty neat, but then they just kind of did. You have to worry about the state of the board, and then you have to be like, okay, well, we're in the word, then we have to get over here, and then we can only work on two sequences. Yeah. So at most, you can only ever get two cubes cured at once. We're in, um, I mean, I guess that actually is a little bit better because you can you could cure 
two cubes. Because once you do this, you no longer need five cards, you just need three. And if you're the scientist, you only need two cards of that color. And what was her name? Chloe. Chloe. Uh, so if you have, and I think the lab, if you do not have a lab person, you're, you're screwed. Like, there's no way that anyone's going to be able to go into a research and be as effective. You being able to sample for free is huge. Mm -hmm. um, but, at the same time, it almost makes one person useless because it, then you just kind of wait. Yeah. You're like, well, I'm the lab person. I sh I'm not going to be running out and getting cubes. Because you don't want to get too far away from a, a lab From a there. research center. Yeah. Yep. Um... Because then it's like, oh, well, I can go help over here, but that might hurt you in the long run. Yep. Because it's like, well, why aren't you by a lab? I wanted to help! Yeah, and it's like, I wanted to play! It's like, yeah, then your next turn, you have to run back to the lab, and then we have to wait for your whole next turn to actually do lab stuff. Unless you have like, a car into this car to get there, but that yeah. rarely happens. So. Yeah. Um, so, I don't know. I I think the lab is, is very neat. That's uh, neat. But... And I, and I do like it. I would I would play it um, by itself. By itself, hell, no way in hell I would do it with the superbug. Or again, uh, no, uh, you can actually do it. And I think the rules even said uh, do this if you're uh, uh, if sure. you're experienced with the superbug in the lab. And I'm like, well, uh, if you're a glutton for punishment, yeah. But I do think it's neat. Then they added a solo game. I have not played. Pandemic solo. I mean, which is also kind of weird because since it's cooperative, you can just play with like two people and play it solo. Um, and then they have a team game. I don't. I don't know what that. What that would even entail. Four scientists. Yeah. No. It looks like you're going for like points. Uh, you're like reaching. You're like going for goals. Who can cure it the fastest? I guess. Yeah. No, that doesn't seem fun. Hey everyone, this video is brought to you by Audible. Audible is offering you a free audiobook with a 30-day trial membership. All you need to do is go to audibletrial.com forward slash bgunlocked and browse the unmatched selection of audio programs, which include audiobooks, original audio shows, news, comedy, and more from leading audiobook publishers. What I do is I actually download their app, which enables me to be able to listen to the Wheel of Time series, which is phenomenal if you're looking for a huge fantasy world. But if fantasy isn't your thing, well, you can also do romance, fiction, teens, nonfiction, comedy, science and technology, and many, many more. All you need to do is go to audibletrial.com forward slash BG Unlocked. The link is in the description below. And now, enjoy the rest of the video. Like FBI versus CIA? Your academic Who, rivals. Who's the better, better uh, branch? Yeah, I guess. So, Definitely. in the lab, uh, what would you guys... Oh, babe, what would you rate? <laughs> Sorry, state of emergency. Uh, I don't know. Which one was that, that one? That was the hinterlands and the virulent, or the um, thing. In, yeah, it was hinterlands, emergency events, and the superbug. Uh, I'll give it a seven. And then on the break added uh, the virulent strain. And then the uh, bioterrorist hidden. I don't virulent. know about that one. Um, probably s seven as well. Seven? Yeah. Uh, and then pandemic in the lab. I'll give that a seven. I'll give it a six. I'll give it a seven. Yeah. Um, I, so not yeah. that I hate it, I just don't really care. Is there one more expansion? Nope. Uh, that's, so that's the base that's game? That's the base game rulebook. Sure so, all in all, uh, I think they did a really good job with the expansions, um, because if because you're not going to play with all of them. It's, it's fucking impossible. There's no way. I, I, I cannot see this game going so well that you could play with at least all the ones that we added. Unless you handpick your characters. Like, you have the scientist, you have the medic, you have the, the, the dispatcher. The dispatcher. Maybe yeah. then, and then even then, you still have to get really lucky because there's so much fucking shit. That is true. So. Um, but all in all, uh, I like most of what the expansions added. And, and at the end of the day, they add more roles, they add more events, and then they add uh, more, like, Berlin strength. So you have a lot of variety. I'm glad they stopped here. Um, I really hope that they do like anniversary expansion so I can combine it with this and actually play the new version. Um, but at the end of the day, uh, I mean, base pandemic is just so good. Like you don't need the expansions, um, and you can just keep. We should have just done legendary. We should have just done seven Vernlets. Should have just done it all. Seven emergency events. Just oh, it's turn two and we lost. <laughs> 
We literally, in a game of Pandemic Legacy, lost it. There were four players. We lost before one round went through. Yeah, it was pretty rough. <laughs> like, we sat here, and it was like, we're like, it's just based on, because it's a Legacy game, so the state of the board permanently changes. I think it was like in October, so about uh, 10 months in, so 10 play sessions. Probably less because you play, if you, you have two times to play in a month. If you lose the first time, you play the month again. So, and I know we lost before then, so at least 10 play sessions, we were like, okay, my turn, my turn, my turn, boom, 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 epidemic. Like, eight epidemics just hit the fan. It's yeah. like, we're like, oh, neat. We're like, all right, so thanks for coming, guys. <laughs> we just lost. I was like, uh, we've uh, lost this uh, 10 month long game. Yeah. I think, well, I think, we lost that month. I think that's when, like, the emotional scarring started to set in. Yeah, and that's the that's not just us. Everyone's about October is yeah. when shit hits the fan. You floor. can't keep it clean forever. Yeah, but yeah, it's I, I love Pandemic. Um, it's it's one of my favorite games. So, uh, Josh, scale of one to ten, whole scale of all Pandemic. So, with those added with by the score of the base game, yeah, uh, comes out to a eight. An eight. Oh, did you average it? Is that what you were messing with? Yep. That's what it's like. Yeah, add all these up and then divide by four. Yeah. It came out to a 7.5. I'm like, it deserves. Round it up. I rounded it up. What did you give regular Pandemic? I give it a nine. A nine. Like, this is fantastic. Yeah. I would, I would play this again. again and again. Yeah, I completely agree. And actually, with just base Pandemic, then we can play with this neat metal, metal 10th anniversary box. Babe, what about you? First, I'll start by saying that normal just base pandemic would probably get like around an eight. But with with literally all the expansions, I don't like it. Okay. <laughs> also, I'm gonna put it at a solid five. All right. But I wanted to give my case before I said it's a five. <laughs> Fuck. This gotcha. Game. Uh, are there so would you rather play with just the base game and nothing from the expansions, or kind of like I oh, would either I would either rather just play the base game or I'd rather play with just one expansion. Gotcha. I, I would agree with that. I would not like to, I don't want it overloaded because this is bloated. This it, is it very much is. Uh, I completely agree. You know what? I, I dropped it down to a one. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? It's a negative. Throw it away. I want to burn it. Burn it off. Burn my table. Um, we burned Pandemic Legacy. We did. Shot season. it. Did we shoot one of them? Yeah, so we burned the first one and uh, we did a f ending ending scene where I we built a bonfire and burned. We, we dressed up as like we were like oh, mo gangsters or yeah. mobsters and we burned the copy <laughs> you know, while I don't want to set the world on fire played. I'm actually very happy with that ending. And then the second ending we went down, or the second uh, legacy, we uh, went down to a quarry with Devin's parents and I had Devin shoot and I blew it up with a shotgun. <laughs> That's awesome. It was a lot of fun. And season three, I don't know what we're gonna do. We're gonna toss it into the ocean. Je Devin, strapped, like, strapped on. I would say it. Legacy season two broke Devin. I'm pretty sure he will never play Pandemic again. No, so you you're gonna jump into his role and do season three with I us? I I live here. I have to do this. Yeah, I'm guaranteed two players, but you can jump on in. The story is really good, but you don't have to play the other two. I can I can loop you in. It's hilarious. Are they on the channel? Yeah. They are on the channel. I might just. Watch the agony unfold. You could actually, yeah. The first season there was four of us. It was two of my friends down uh, where I used to live, and then season two was uh, me, Cat, and Devin. So and it broke Devin. He like I I wanted him to play Fall of Rome with me, and he's like, I don't think I can play Pandemic ever again. I'm like, G I was giving him time, and he's like, I can't. No, I'm telling you, there's they're like you can only put the human brain through so much before it's they, very stressful. They attach it to a bad memory. In the I love too. it. I I love it. I love all of it I except liked, Rising Tide. Rising Tide shit. I did not like that one. Also, and I haven't played the, best the game. I mean, the country names were just not the country names, but they were like Providence names or whatever. They were city names or they were just bananas. Yeah, because you get to you ride on the board, you name your cities, you name your people, and uh, season I'm. I, I know for a fact they are doing a season three, and I'm sure that they will announce it at Gen Con. I've already I got hope my, they do. I've already got my names coming up. Awesome. Yeah, so uh, with all the expansions, um, I'm a glutton for punishment. I like the challenge, even though I know I knew we were going to lose. I was like, I was like 95, 97% sure that we were going to lose, but I had a little bit of hope. I'm surprised you made it as far as we did. Um, I'm like, maybe we'll do this, and then I'm like, nope, this is, I, I knew it was coming. I'm like, oh, well, we're kind of starting to unravel, we can't keep up with it. Once I started to see black just kick off, I'm like, 
And then I thought we were, looks, yeah. Like, I thought we were getting our shit together over there, but then I wasn't even thinking about the pu the purple cubes. Yep. I was like, oh yeah. No, but I'm like, crap, we're not doing that quick enough. Then I saw the dwindling deck. I'm like, it's not happening. Yes. I've played enough of Pandemic to know when we, uh, when the world gets annihilated. Uh, I would give, I give regular Pandemic an 8. I would say with all the expansions, um, like all the ones that we put in, I'd actually put that at a 7. I still really like it, even though there's a lot to manage. I think it's very thematically grounding. Um... So, so yeah, Pandemic sits at an 8 for me. Uh, if I had any negatives with the game, it's because it can be quarterbacked. I've played yeah. so much Pandemic, I probably know that's not a good idea to do. But I, I, and it's like, well, just don't do that. It's like, I can, but then if people are making bad decisions, it's just like, why, why am I playing? Um, but some, a lot of times uh, people can catch on, because the game is very gateway, that they can catch on and be like, what if we did this? It's like, oh. Yes, that'll work too. Uh, so you you can definitely get that, but uh, it pandemic usually trails in the in the path of this is probably the best option. Let's just go ahead and do this. Say, I may need to talk to Devin first to know why. <laughs> I well, I could I can probably explain to he you. He lights why. a pipe and like dims the lights. He's, He's like, like, let me tell let me tell you, you my my child. Um, Alrighty. But yeah, so eight eight out of ten for me. Eight out of ten for you. And uh, solid five. Five with all of them, but eight. Yeah, them. Um, eight base game. Yep. Okay. So that's our thoughts on Pandemic with all its expansions, everyone. Uh, I hope you enjoyed. Let us know what you think of everything in the comments below. Other than that, like, com like comment, share, and subscribe. And have a wonderful whatever time of day it is for you. Hey, everyone. Thanks so much for watching this. And if you like this video, then click the subscribe button below to enjoy any video that I put out. And right next to that subscribe button is a little bell. Click that so you get notified of whenever I actually upload these videos. If you want to support the channel, you can definitely visit my Patreon page. The link is in the description below. Other than that, like, comment, share, and subscribe, and have a wonderful whatever time of day it is for you.